Hey family, my name is Ion LaRue and I'm so excited to share with you my debut single Neve in a Million. The story behind this song is based on the powerful love story between my mom and my dad. Um, I was at high school, Good Hope High School, um, around about standard nine and um, he was at college doing the ministry there. We rode in a bus together from where we lived, quite a distance. I think it was about 20 kilometers or so um, that we rode to school. I didn't know about him, but he was watching me. <laughs> and um, I used to sing a lot in, at church, uh, with my sisters, in the choir, in the trio, and um, so he must have seen me singing. So what was his first words? Do you remember what his first words were? Um, no, we were just talking first, oh. in general. So he didn't know. just come up to you and say, No, no. Uh, uh, no, no. He, you I know, see you. Very, <laughs> very diplomatic, you know. Um, he asked me to sing in the group. He had a male group, and uh, the first tenor, had left and the so musicians do it. <laughs> <laughs> and Get the female involved, you know it. <laughs> and I didn't know what his plans were. And uh, he would come and fetch me for practice and bring me home for practice, after practice. Now you share the story with me, Ma. Um, but I want the people to know. <laughs> How did Daddy ask you out? How did that come about? He always used to take the me home first and then the group members. And this day, he took them home first. And I said to him, I tapped him on the shoulder and I said to him, aren't you making a mistake? And he was just uh, looking in front of him and driving and very serious. And. Um, then he dropped everyone and then he said to me, come and sit here in the front with me. I'm thinking now, what on earth is going to happen next? And then he popped the question this way, Zita, I love you. Will you be my wife in five years time? Ah, this was my first boyfriend. This was my first friend really that I had and um, I really liked him because what I had in mind for a guy was um, he must be, he must first of all he must love the Lord, secondly he must be tall <laughs> <laughs> and thirdly he must be more educated than what I am. So all these thoughts were like uh, uh, um, crowding my mind when flashing through my mind when so just to, so just to be clear yes he didn't ask you out he said i love you yes so he, he didn't say let's be boyfriend and girlfriend no he said i love you yes. first and foremost secondly in five years time we're gonna get married that's right <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy is ambitious, eh? <laughs> you! <laughs> but you know, you as being your first time, you don't know how it should be and how I was, because I was very young, I was 16, 17 years old. And I agreed that we could go. And in five years in later? In five years time, we got married. Oh, wow. beautiful wedding. What a man, yes. what a guy. Yes, I don't know anybody <laughs> who would just go up to a female and say, I love you. In five years, we're getting married. <laughs> and how long were you married, bro? We were married for 32 years. And you know, sometimes I would have some trouble at work and I would just call him and say, my man, this is what happened. And he would come to my work and he would sort things out for me all of my life, no matter the challenges I had, I would bring it to him, share it with him, and he would sort that out for me. And I must say that um, every morning from day one, 
he would tell me, Michael, I love you so much. You are the best thing that has happened to me. On the 14th of October, Dad had an appointment to see church people in Willamore. It was a normal thing in our family for Dad to go away. He said he'll be home about 10 p.m. the night. And um, at 10 p.m. there was a knock on the door. They said, no, but my, my dad isn't here. No, I want to speak to your mother. And I thought it was very strange. And then they broke the news to me that dad had been killed in a car accident at around about 8.30 the evening. Your dad was my first love. My confidant, my friend, my best friend. I could share with him whatever I would have in my heart. I didn't know what I was going to do without him. After 32 years of marriage and five years of courtship, now it was all just snatched away. Gone with the wind. I would never see him again, never speak to him again, never hear him speak or share those words of love that he would say to me every morning. And this really broke my heart. And um, over the years, what has really kept me going was the words that he would say to me every morning, Sita, I love you so much. You mean the world to me. And I have never in a million years had a friend like that and never would want a friend like my only. Your dad. Never in a million years. Never.